guys how are we all doing welcome back to another episode of the makeup basics if you're new here then i'm sophie welcome what inspired this video was me and my friends were getting ready to go out after work and she was asking me like what do i need in my makeup after this day me and her went out and i got her a basic list of what she would need in her kit like just to throw in her you know like everyday bag and this is what has inspired this video because i just told her i would have this 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 so that's exactly what I'm gonna do for you guys. And today what I'm gonna get into is if I was starting makeup fresh today, what would I wanna know and what would I have in my makeup bag? So if you wanna see what I would have in my starter kit, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's start with face. So before I even start getting into the makeup, I just wanna say before you even apply anything to your face, we need a really good hydrated skin underneath so as long as you've got a really good moisturizer and hydrating moisturizer on i'm not going to get into the primers right now because sometimes i don't even use a primer i'll just use my moisturizer if my skin is really really glowing and moisturized so just make sure before you apply any of these products you have a really good moisturized base Okay, so the first product, let's get into foundation. So I think foundation is a good thing to have in your starter kit, just so you can kind of have like an even base before you begin other parts of your makeup. So the products I mentioned here, they're just general products. They're not like my all time faves or anything like that. I just wanted to give you an example of if you have never seen foundation or you don't even know what foundation is, I just want to show you. So this is the Fenty Beauty foundation. I think this is a really good foundation for all skin tones and all skin type. Um, there's a hydrating foundation as well as this original one. And there are so many, I think there's over 40 shades in the Fenty collection. So this is a really good starter point for when you want to start looking for a foundation shade. I remember when I was younger, there was no way this amount of shades available for me to pick from. I probably had about two shades for me to pick from for my skin tone and for black girls so Fenty Beauty is a really good starting point. I picked Fenty Beauty because there is also a matching concealer which I'll get onto next. So a foundation is really good to have just so you can set a base for the rest of your makeup and to make sure your skin is a nice flat canvas for any concealing, highlighting, bronzer, anything like that. So number one would be foundation. Number two in my makeup bag would be concealer. And this is for underneath your eyes here. And the reason I picked Fenty is because there's a corresponding concealer shade to the foundations. So if you're lucky enough to find your perfect shade, I'm 310 in both of these. So you've got 310 in the foundation and 310 in the concealer. And the concealer and foundation aren't exact shade matches. Can you see the concealer's a little bit lighter? I would also push that in with a damp beauty blender so you can get these at boots anywhere so you put your concealer on put that in with a beauty blender and blend that into your skin so as a starting point i would kind of not go too light with the concealers i would keep the concealer close to your shade which is why i think fenty beauty is a great reference to have when you're starting out because you can kind of see their predictions of what your concealer should brighten and conceal at the shade you know keeping the shades balanced so i think that's a really good reference to have because they've personally investigated oh which shade works well with this foundation and this concealer so number three would be a powder and i think setting powder is one of the best inventions of makeup because this is another one when i was going um when i was talking to my friend i was like you don't set your concealer with powder and she was like no and then she was like saying how her under eye would crease all the time how she would feel oily and i recommended her a setting powder and i literally just told her go to her boots and get the cheapest setting powder the banana powder she tried my Ben Eye powder. There are so many different setting powders that can use. But because I use this very often, I thought I would show you this. It's the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. And I think this one's essential for when you put your concealer on and then you just don't want your concealer to move. So if you were really to just put on the concealer and not set it, it would definitely smudge. It would definitely come off and it wouldn't stay put for the full day or for the time that you're going out. So I think setting powder is essential in making sure that your concealer stays put and it also mattifies you. I would always keep setting powder in my bag also because say if you're like running around all day at work, you get kind of like overwhelmed and I've, by the end of the day, my skin is kind of glowy and oily. So if I have any spots that I want to dab, I'll just take my setting powder and just dab, dab away, dab away. So, so far we've got foundation, concealer, and setting powder. Next to a face, I would say you guys could pick up a bronzer. And this is just an Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. But any bronzer, honestly. Like I said before, these products aren't products that you guys need to go out and get. If I was starting out, I'd go to Boots and get the first kind of products, the cheapest kind of products that I would. So go to Super Drug Boots, any um, drugstore, and pick up a bronzer which you think is in your shade. 
So bronzer I love just so it can add a little bit of definition to your face and a little bit of like a glow and a little bit of a, you know, adding some colour to you girl. Like adding a little bit of a chiseled cheek here and there. For me bronzer is essential because I think once I've done my concealer foundation sometimes I can look a little bit one dimensional and I need to add some dimension to my face and bronzer is perfect for that. And you just need to add a little bit on your forehead and on your cheeks and you're good to go. So next in my kit would be blush. Blush, blush, blush. I've become such a blush lover. But um, before I wouldn't have had this in my kit, but now I'm like, I need blush, man. Like, I need blush. Another thing is, I think it's very useful when you're starting out to get palettes like this, because you can also get bronzer palettes. This is the Nip and Fab Blush Palette, and I found this amazing because if you don't really know your blush shade, you have four options to choose from here. So you don't waste your money if you pick the wrong blush or not a blush that you like. You have kind of four options in there. But there are also but there are also single blushes like this MYX one. And blush is just amazing for adding, an, again, a bit of colour to your face and dimension to your face. I think it's a really cute look when you have a bit of bronzer, blush, and then you're good. So I'm going to mention now highlighter just because I know some of you guys will be wanting that but I think in an everyday look I don't really wear highlighter. I wouldn't say it's really much an essential for a beginner but if you do want to add a little bit of a glow to your face then I would say go ahead and get some highlighter girl. This is just a revolution highlighter again very cheap I think it was about three pounds. With a highlighter can you see how my face is like glowing a little bit like here 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 and here. I would literally just take a brush and apply just on all of the points where the light kind of hits your face and that you want to you know just glow like usually on the top of my cheeks my nose here cheeks and a little bit here and then you can also put it on your brow bone but I don't think this is an essential but if you want to go that step further and have like another piece in your kit that you can use then go ahead and add a highlighter okay and finally I would say you need a setting spray or a hydrating spray just to bring everything together at the end the one you cannot go wrong with is MAC Fix Plus that is my all-time favorite I think I've bought I, I swear to god I've bought over 10 of these ever since I started to do makeup I had MAC Fix Plus to just set your face if you feel kind of powdery it adds a hydration and it also helps everything you know come together at the end it's like the finishing touch so that for me is what you need for a base it would be foundation concealer powder bronzer blush optional highlights and a setting spray and a hydrating spray. So next, let's move on to brows. So for brows, I would say it depends what brows you have. If you have thick brows like me, if you're starting out, I would say literally all you need is a brow setter and a clear brow gel. And that's all I would put in my brows to start with. Say so maybe get a brow pencil and then just fill in the gaps in your eyebrows really lightly. So now let's move on to, to eyes. Okay, so honestly, as a beginner beginner, all you need is mascara. You don't need anything else really. Just start playing around with mascara, seeing if you can apply it. You can move on to liner and stuff once you're comfortable with like makeup, if, if you've got like a steady hand. But at the moment, as a starter kit, I would say all you need is mascara. So finally, let's move on to lips. So for me, the essentials for lips is just a liner and a gloss. That's it, baby. So when picking a liner shade, I say always go for a shade darker than your skin tone just to give your lips, can you see how my lips have got some definition around the edges? They bring your lips out a bit and they make them a bit more plump if that's the look you like. But obviously everyone's got their own taste and that's cool. But for me, I always love to overline my lips to make them, you know, juicy. <laughs> I just like juicy lips, man. So as long as you line your lips with, this is MAC Cork Liner. If you know me, you know I ride or die this product. There's something wrong with me because I literally cannot get rid of this product. This is my all-time favourite liner. So I use cork liner because it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone. And then you just finish that off with a clear gloss. This is a Fenty Beauty clear gloss, but there are so many clear glosses out there. So guys, that is my beginner starter kit. I really hope this helped you. I hope this is a good baseline for where you can start playing with makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in my next video.